Hey, I'm just doing some checking up on the latest AI tools. Um, I wanted to check the ability for uh, four AI tools, or maybe five, to summarize this article from the New York Times. So what I'm going to do is copy this link here, and I've got the first AI tool I'm going to use is Meta AI, which uses the Llama thing. And I say, please summarize this article. And it's going about its job. Um, searching for it. It's interesting. So Meta uses the Llama 3. Um, okay, and now I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to start a new chat here in Claude, which is another AI. Um, quite helpful. Please, can you summarize this article? Control V, and I'll just control all of that. And then, um, Unfortunately, I don't have access to the article since I cannot open open links or websites, so Claude won't do it. Okay, the other one I'm testing at the moment is Perplexity, and I'll paste that in there. Um, Perplexity is going to go about that. There's another one here called Pi, um, which I am going to see if it will do it as well. Pi.ai. So that has the option to do it there. And the next one is ChatGPT 3.5. I did pay for ChatGPT 4, but um, yeah, we'll just do this as well. Okay, so of the four here, we have um, Meta AI is doing it. Claude won't do it. Uh, Perplexity will do it. And then uh, Pi is doing it as well. And then ChatGPT is doing it as well. So now I guess we've got to correct, um, see if there's anything false, um, what they call hallucinations, being presented by the AI about the article. So I've read this article here, um, and basically it talks about um, information, misinformation research companies noticing changes in behavior from Russia, Iran, and China with regards to um, America's political situation. So it basically promotes the idea that um, these uh, actors, these foreign influence, these foreign states are presenting um, more information in uh, social media channels to influence um, American uh, perspectives. So because I've read it, you can trust me on it, but I'm going to look at this meta AI one. Um, China and Iran are hunting dissidents. I don't think hunting appears in this article. Let me just check. Hunting. Hunting does not appear in that article. So, Meta, you are presenting incorrect information, FBI. Okay, let's see if the word FBI appears in this article. No, nothing there. Okay, so not looking good, Meta. Claude, you don't do it. So, two out of three. So, we've got three left that I'm choosing to run with right now, perplexity. Um, and we have this article discussing how China, Russia, and Iran have been exposing the recent campus protests. Yes, being into it. That sounds pretty good. State media outlets in Russia published. Yep, I remember the. Let's just check that 400. If that fact 400 appears in here anywhere. 400 news articles. Yes, so perplexity, you're doing quite well there. Um, NewsGuard were featured. They talk about. So they've got the link here to the source, and they've actually included the source. Um, so, uh, I think that's pretty good. So let's give um, Perplexity a thumbs up on that. Um, and let's look at this one from pi.ai. It had been used by foreign universities. Yep, that sounds correct. The state controlled media outlets. Yes, that's correct. Called Doppelganger. Okay, let's just check if this word appears in the article. I know it does because I've just read it, but um, it does. It appears twice, so they're referencing correct things. Um, overall, the article highlights how foreign adversaries are exploiting domestic unrest in the US to push their own agendas and undermine American democracy. So I think that's a great summary. Let's go here. Chat GPT 3.5. Very short. Uh, Russian, Chinese, Iran, and US officials are increasing using campus, and US officials are increasingly using campus protests and student groups as tools in their geopolitical strategies. That may be a slight twist. Are US officials using campus protests in a geopolitical strategy? Hmm, don't know about 
apologies for the cutout. So this um, this is a slight this slightly incorrect. Um, US officials are not um, well maybe they are, but it's not obvious from the article when we're just looking at the reference of the article. So um, when it says these governments, it's really only Russia, Chinese and Iran uh, are using these organizations. Um, so to shape narratives. So um, yeah, there's a lot of hallucinations in there, chat GPT, yeah, it's a down for me. You would, you would send, this would send people in the wrong direction. Okay, so there we go, that's my summary. Uh, quick review, a meta AI was a down on this particular article. Claude was a down, uh, Claude may not want to do it, that's fine, because that's their prerogative. Um, perplexity, I thought was a thumbs up. Uh, Pi was a thumbs up. Um, and I do like the conciseness of it. And ChatGPT was a thumbs down. So there you go. Uh, you choose the AIs that you want in the day. Those are my five, which I'm using right now. They're all different, very different tasks. So I'll send you more videos of other little things I'm doing. Coding, YouTube summary videos, um, using these tools. Uh, just to see how they are. Aloha.